okay so it seems that we are live yes we are live on zoom uh, and welcome to our first attendees welcome to our another series of subject webinars and as you might know we today are talking about studying um, business administration in Germany and as you can see I'm not alone uh, we have lots of guests today and we will get back to them very soon because yeah you know, I am the least interesting person for you today, like Diego, and we'll keep it short. My, uh, my name is Georgi, and I will be today the co uh, host co-moderator together with Diego, who will be helping me with this. So uh, just quickly to tell you guys, the Q&A button, which you can see in the bottom part of Zoom interface, is just for you to send in your questions. So we will be monitoring it. So if you do not receive answer to your questions in the Q&A, immediately it means that I have mm -hmm. reserved this question for the future. By future, I mean not tomorrow, but uh, very soon uh, that because we will do it just after our uh, guests will finalize their presentation. We will have a live Q&A session around 10 minutes where your questions will be addressed by the program representatives. Uh, okay, so let me now uh, share with you my screen. I have short presentation for you, uh, then we'll get back to our speakers. So quickly about webinar agenda. So we have today a guest from three universities presenting three programs. We have uh, uh, here from Hochschule Offenburg, Lydia Schindler and Professor Dr. Rainer Fischer, who will be talking about Masters of Business Administration in International Business Consulting. After that, we'll move to Hochschule Rheinwald or Rheinwald University of Applied Sciences. And we have Fabian Dagel, and he will be talking about Bachelor Service Program in International Business and Management. So, um, who is behind uh, today's uh, webinar. So it is my German university. So to put it simply and shortly, we are the Germany's uh, largest database of English study programs. When you go to mygermanuniversity.com and Diego now will share with you our website in the chat. Uh, so you will see uh, as, uh, that we have on a database consisting of uh, master's and also bachelor levels program, but also from the small excerpt of our study finder on the left hand side, you can see that we have also short courses and language courses. So this is just a small version of study finder and it has much more filters than you can see from here, you can even find programs according to your IELTS score or TOEFL score or the find a program based on whether it's offered by University of Applied Sciences or Universität type of university. So you can even go to so much details. Uh, just go to the website that Diego shared and on the study finder, you will see all these details. So study finder is actually one of the ways of helping you to on your way towards coming to Germany. Uh, another way of helping uh, of doing this is through our articles. We are, our number of article has approached already 100 exactly. Uh, so we have 100 comprehensive articles on various topics. Uh, it can be uh, masters or most popular cities or scholarships or how to write a letter of motivation or the visa topics. By the way, it was just recently updated yesterday. You can see uh, some news there or uh, it also can be so fresh like um, APS for India, which is the news. You can check it out also there. So yeah, lots of articles on the left-hand side, you can see uh, like we have a navigator uh, where you can find articles based on the topics. And last but not least, the third way of helping you is through organizing the webinar, like the one that we are having right now. So we have around 150 webinars per year and the topics vary. It can be scholarships, it can be uni assist, it can be subject webinars like the one that we're having today, or it can be, yes, on different subjects. And you can already find on our webinars page, you can find which webinars are planned and you can sign up for them for free. And my suggestion would be also to um, uh, create an account on our webpage if you have not done yet so, and it's also for free. Just by doing this, you will have more options uh, to use all the capabilities or all the options that our website is offering you. Regarding our team, uh, we are based in Hamburg, in Germany, in North Germany, uh, and uh, I, but our team is international. For example, Diego uh, and me are located in, in, in Germany, but in different cities, but we also have uh, our colleagues who are is not in Germany, for example, in Spain, in China. So we are all around the world and uh, we, uh, yeah, we are quite international. So uh, moving to some information, general information when it comes to studying in Germany, there are two databases that I would like you to know about uh, from my presentation. First one is for those who are also more into German taught study programs. It's called Hochschule Kompass. So if you're interested in programs related to business administration, I would suggest you also to check out Hochschule Kompass. 
But for those who are more into English taught study programs, and my guess would be that most of you today, if not all of you, belong to this category, then I would say my German university and our study finder should be your stop because here we have, you can see numerous amount of programs listed in our database. And you can see that there's bachelor level, also master level, and most of them are English only. And by English only, I mean that in this case, you do not need any knowledge of German. Of course, knowing German in Germany is a really clever thing, smart thing to do, but in some, in some cases you don't need to uh, complete your studies. Uh, yes, so for those who do not know any idea of what to expect when it comes to studying business administration in Germany in general, uh, this umbrella topic, uh, I would also suggest you to check out our subject pages because we have pages for each subject where you can find some general information, for example, regarding the rankings of universities which are, that are offering this type of programs or tuition fee ranges that you sh should expect if you want to study this subject in Germany or application language requirements or admission restriction. <laughs> So all this information can be found, the general information uh, on the subject pages, just to for you to have a bigger picture, general picture of how it looks like. So this is mostly for new buys. Uh, regarding the tips, uh, yes. Um, so um, suggestion would be uh, don't be guided just things by the things like rankings, for example, or city names, for example, yeah, not all the rankings that you know that are quite well known encompass all the universities in Germany. So you for sure will miss lots of programs by looking only at rankings and also rankings, of course, do not always uh, reflect clearly all of your interests. Also, uh, one popular thing is that many students uh, think that it's only Berlin and Munich where you can get a high quality education in German, which is not true at all. Of course, in Germany, in Munich and Berlin, you have high quality education, but also in Germany, there are lots more, much more towns and cities where you can get with great universities that are offering really high quality education. So if you want to make sure that you have not missed out any opportunity, please uh, be more flexible in this regard while searching for the universities. So last but not least, um, I already mentioned this distinction, actually, it's at some point regarding the university, universitat type of university and University of Applied Sciences. So yeah, this is in Germany, there's a, a difference, uh, different namings, in, I'm more than sure in your country. Uh, most probably you don't have this difference, like I had, didn't have in my country. So yeah, uh, it's universitat type of university and in our study finder, you can, for example, search for programs in this business administration that are offered exactly by this type of university and another type of university of, is in English called University of Applied Sciences in Germany can have some different names for those who do not speak German. Uh, uh, it might be difficult to read in German, but it's good test for you to uh, practice your German. So you, in our study finder, you can also uh, control for this. Uh, though, so programs in business, business administration that are offered exactly by this type of university. So I'm talking about these two types. And of course, question arises then, uh, what is really different? Should I be worried about? I would say not at all. Uh, but main takeaway that I, I would like you to know is that the focus. So when it comes to universitat type of university, Usually, the focus is more on research and theory, while it comes to the um, University of Applied Sciences, usually the focus is more on to application and practice. If you are more interest, interested in even more details regarding this, uh, yeah, drop me an email and I will try to my best to be as concise as possible and to explain even historical differences for you. Um, and yes. Uh, regarding the searching the programs correctly, not to miss out any opportunities, also be flexible in terms of uh, wording, because sometimes students are strict searching using particular searches, and then by doing this, they might miss some opportunities in order not to do this, be more flexible, play a little bit more with filters, play a little bit more with, um, with word, and then you'll make sure you have not missed any opportunities that is best for you in terms of your background and in terms of your interests. Okay, so uh, I'm done. With my part, and now let's move to Offenburg University of Applied Sciences, where you can see where it's located. You are almost in France, not really, but almost there. So we have uh, our guests, uh, Professor Dr. Rainer Fischer, as I said, who is who will be talking about Masters of Business Administration, International Business Consulting, and uh, of course Lydia Schindler um, accompanying him. So let me stop sharing my screen and invite our guests to take the floor. Yeah, thanks a lot for your introduction also a hearty welcome from our side from Offenburg which is located in the 
Black Forest. And uh, before I'd like to deliver some information, having a deeper insight to our program, I'd like to pass to Ms. Lydia Schindler, the head of marketing of our graded school. Yeah, thank you very much, Ms. Gorgi, for this comprehensive introduction. We are very happy to be here today and uh, to present our Pro Master of Business Administration in International Business Consulting. So we want to invite you to study in English and live in German or in Germany at the same time. So uh, yeah, we are here to present this program for you. And actually on the first picture, you already see um, the building where this program takes place. So it's a very pretty uh, Benedictine monastery, which has been beautifully restored. Yes, my name is Lydia Danta Schindler. I will take you through, a gen through some general facts um, about the program. And I'm responsible here for the uh, marketing of the graduate school to which the program belongs to. And Professor Dr. Rainer Fischer is the director uh, of the MBA program. So I'm very happy that he's able to be here with you today and that you are able to um, get some direct information from him today too. Do you see the slides correctly? Does that work? Yes, yes. Okay. So as Georgia already said, we're in southwest of Germany, situated right next to the border to France and also very close to Switzerland. Uh, and our university is situated in two, um, uh, two cities uh, close by. Uh, one is Offenburg, as the name already says, and our um, MBA program is actually situated in another town about eight kilometers from here, very pretty medieval uh, center town, with, which is called Gengenbach. So that's where your program uh, will, is located. Here, this region is a very cross-national metropolitan area. We have Strasbourg, uh, which where the European Parliament has its seat, which is only about half an hour away. And we have Basel in Switzerland, only about one and a half hour away. Uh, so you see it's a very international area here and a very dynamic region with high employment prospects. Uh, so it's one of the most prosperous regions uh, of Germany uh, and with uh, the strongest economic, uh, a very strong economic uh, area. And I personally enjoy the extraordinary living standard that we have here because we're very close by, next, right next to the Black Forest Mountains. It's a beautiful mountain area where many tourists come to. And mm -hmm. at the same time, uh, you have these uh, wonderful cities around and you know, all these possibilities. So it's a very, it's a great place to live too. Offenburg University was founded in 1964 and therefore is one of the oldest universities of applied sciences. Uh, and as the name already says, we usually have praxis oriented studies. There are around 4,500 students enrolled right now. Uh, and about half of the programs are bachelor programs and the other half are master programs. About 12 of our percent of our students are international students. And especially in our international master's degree programs of the graduate school, you certainly have a very international student uh, body with uh, students coming from all over the world. And this is especially true for our MBA program, I, International Business Consulting, where students apply from all over the world for this program. And we also have therefore eight, uh, around 80 um, partner universities worldwide. So we have many exchange students uh, here too. And we also want to give our students that possibility to go abroad and choose where they want to uh, get international experience. And as we are University of Applied Science, it's also very important for us to have this spacious enterprise network, um, which also helps us to keep our laboratories and facilities always in state of the art. Um, and also, you know, our um, students profit from the fact uh, that there are these close ties with the economy here in this region and also in a broader um, in, in Germany and this uh, France and Switzerland in this whole um, international area here. 
And I think one is aspect that's also very important is that our professors have to have at least three years of experience mm -hmm. outside of the academic uh, area, which means in the private sector, in private industry. And this is something they bring back to the university and can they can share this experience with uh, our with the students, with you, if you choose to come here. So this is something that's very important for us. And I think it's also very important for, for all our students uh, and which is not true for the traditional comprehensive universities in Germany. But we also offer additional services for you. So when you decide to come here, we will assist you in finding accommodations. You're not left alone in looking for a room where to stay. There's also a senior body that will help you, especially before you come with your, answering the, your questions. So it's an experienced student um, that gives you orientation, especially during the first few weeks, um, helps you orient yourself here at the university and also in town. And something very uh, special is also that there is a, a separate uh, coordinator for each of our international master's degree programs. So if you come to study international business consulting here, the coordinator of this program will give you individual support and will help you through, throughout your studies with any questions regarding your, um, yeah, your studies. Uh, and yeah, you're always very welcome to turn directly to the coordinator of the program. We recommend you to start with our German summer language school in September, which is also a great um, uh, offer for our students in order to learn some German and or improve your German. There are always different levels of German offered and it's an intensive language course. And you also get uh, to know the region. You will, participate, you will be able to participate in excursions, get to know each other and get to know everything that you need for your studies uh, already before you start with your actual program. And certainly we also offer online language courses during the lecture period in German or also other languages that you want to choose. We also want you to have not only success in your studies, but also have a great time here. So therefore we offer a cultural and social program for you with excursions, get togethers and so on. You are very welcome to participate in the great sports um, offer that we have here. There's, for example, right next to the university in Offenburg, uh, just next to the campus, there's a lake where you can participate in the sailing group, or you take advantage of the mountains next by and go mountain by, uh, participate in the mountain biking group or in the hiking group, or you choose any other sports that you want to participate. And a an special initiative is also the senior service. Uh, this is a group of people, uh, of citizens of the city here who are joined uh, together in a group in order to welcome international students here in Offenburg and to help them to get to know our culture, to welcome them in their family, to do activities together with them. And it's a great help for many of our students as it, I'm sure that it's also the reason why so many of them feel really home after a short time here in Offenburg. So it's a great atmosphere and the senior service uh, helps a lot with that. Certainly we also offer job application trainings uh, and there's a great recruiting event every year at the university. Each year we have more and more companies joining this recruiting event. So it really shows the interest of the companies in our graduates. Mm -hmm. And once you're done with your studies, uh, we are very happy to keep in contact with you via our international alumni network. So these are just some general uh, facts about, um, yeah, Offenburg University and our international master's degree programs. But now I want to hand over to Professor Dr. Rainer Fischer, Director of the International uh, MBA program, International Business Consulting. Yeah, Lydia, thanks a lot for giving the introduction. Here we see the timeline. Um, our program has been started in winter term 99-20, uh, and uh, therefore we can say we have a history 
Uh, it's one of the oldest MBA programs um, in, in Germany, but you can be sure that we take on board impulses from the industry on current topics. And this is also reflected in the curriculum, which is subjected to a critical review every few years. Um, two years ago, we built, we have founded the so-called Black Forest Business School. Under the roof of this, we also offer to addition, uh, additionally two uh, part-time MBA programs. Next slide, please. Okay. Um, um, yeah, it looks like a potpourri. <laughs> um, and and um, due to the progress in time, uh, I'd only like to point out that um, our curriculum, of course, mirrors uh, the goal of the program. Uh, the goal of the program is to deliver students an expertise which ensures the students to become a competent, decisive, and also, of course, socially skilled and accountable business leader. And um, we want to transfer business fundamentals, fundamentals such as corporate finance, costing, marketing, and so on. But we will want also to enlarge your perspective by new topics in, in context of design thinking and so on, and uh, want to make sure that you acquire new insights. Therefore, I'd like to skip this page, this slide. And um, in addition to the compulsory topics, we offer you a, lo a lot of elective courses such as uh, of, I'd like to point out this topic of German language. This topic is most important for us. Um, and we also offer a summer language course. And um, expertise, uh, sufficient expertise in German language gives you best preconditions to, to break into an internships, maybe later to break into a job in a company in one of the German spoken countries, not only in Germany, maybe, but also uh, opportunities are given in Switzerland and of course in the next third German spoken country in Austria. Yeah, we have a lot of um, lectures. Most of the lectures, uh, not most, but many lectures, um, external lectures, there are um, uh, consultants, managers, and of course, Taking into account the internationality of our program, we have a lot of lecturers coming from abroad. Uh, I don't like to point out some, just I'd like to point out Mr. Alejandro Martinez. He is um, uh, for the Mexican government, working at the European Union Parliament. Uh, we each summer term Ms. Mriti Prabhapakasud, it's an alumni from IBC. She is a professor in New York at a private university, visits us. And tomorrow we have as a guest speaker, he's also an alumni, alumni, alumnus from IBC, Dr. Jose Vallejo. Okay, next slide. I have to run a little bit. Yeah, this reflects a little bit the widespread of jobs or of uh, yeah, fields, uh, students break into a job or doing an internship. Um, against the background that our program covers a wide spread of different topics. So it's not a must for students to break into a job in the field of consulting. Now we have to make a differentiation. We have the so-called, so yeah, let's say traditional consulting, but we have more and more so-called in internal consulting, internal consulting, uh, which might be described as controllers, project managers, and so on. And finally, I'd like also to point out this aspect, the question uh, in which um, company or which line of business students want to break into. This very, very depends on the professional experience and the interests students have. Next one, please. Yeah, extracurricular activities. Uh, I'd like to point out the so-called orientation orientation week in uh, Montafon. I like this very much. Lydia Schindler mentioned a catchword, mountain biking. I like this very much and there's a wonderful opportunity, but nevertheless, uh, we don't expect that students 
uh, are ready to do mountain biking, but this ori uh, um, orientation orientation week in Montafon normally uh, takes place uh, middle of October. We start beginning of October. And this orientation week is in Montafon. Uh, is the aim of getting to know each um, other better. This includes a board game, outdoor training, intercultural training, and training in uh, mimic and gesture with an actor from Munich Theater. And here you see we we are, are mostly interested not only to deliver hard facts. Uh, I mentioned our our intention is that students have a sufficient social skills um, in addition to other expertise they build up during our studies. Okay, Lydia, will you continue? Yeah, I can take over again. Uh, thank have, you very much. Take into account the, the time progress. Yeah, yes. so it's if you're interested uh, and you want to apply, I just uh, want to tell you that it's very easy. We have an online application tool where you can just uh, put in your contact details and just some basic facts. For the first stage of the application process, you really don't need many documents or facts. Uh, it's, it's an easy entrance. And if uh, you are selected for the second stage of the selection process, you will then get a feedback and be invited to send further documents. So don't hesitate to uh, apply. It's really uh, not, not a big deal and you will get an answer and then you can deliver the, the necessary documents until um, the final decision um, takes place. Yes, just uh, summing up again. So you we would be happy uh, if you come and if study here international business consulting at Offenburg University you will be able you, are, you can count on a small student teacher ratio mm -hmm. um, we have usually around 15 to 20 students maximum in each batch uh, and a hands-on instruction as uh, so you will really try out what you learn and and get uh, work, uh, work in teams uh, and do different workshops and so on. It's an accredited application oriented MBA program with excellent career opportunities and future employability. And we have this close integration with the regional economy. And certainly you can also count on comprehensive individual services for our, that we offer for our international students. And I'm sure you will enjoy the safe and friendly environment that we have here with that easy access to Europe's tourist attractions. So thank you very much for your attention. If you're interested, you're always welcome to contact us uh, at this um, email address noted here or also by phone. Um, this is the phone, a telephone number from the coordinator of the program, Mrs. Komila Topal, which you can also uh, dial and and uh, ask her the, your questions directly. So thank you very much, and we are also well, you're also welcome to ask your question in the Q and A afterwards. Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor. Thank you very much, Lydia, for a, a very interesting presentation and for addressing so many issues. Um, I also put just. Uh, for the case of safety, for the issue of safety, uh, this email and a mobile phone also, a mobile number into the chat so the students can easily see whether they are interested to get in contact already right now. So thank you very much. Yeah, the questions have come. There is some interest, which makes me happy. And now with this, as I said to students already, um, um, we are noting down these questions and we'll address them during the live Q&A, which will start in around one, half an hour. So uh, let me now switch uh, to the next speaker. Um, let me quickly share with you my screen and um, introduce once again you to, uh, him to you. So it's Fabian Dagel from Raiva University of Applied Sciences. Uh, from the closeness of France, we move to closeness of the Netherlands now. Um, and we are moving to the BA level program uh, in international business and management. So Fabian, please take over. Okay, let's just share my screen. Now, everyone of you should be able to see my screen and hear me. Perfect. 
Okay, yes, welcome also from my side um, to Weinberg University of Applied Sciences, especially our degree program, International Business and Management. Once again, my name is Fabian Dagel. I'm scientific assistant as program manager with focus on business administration and taxation. Means I'm more or less responsible for our degree program, international business and management and for all students and is interesting students and the first contact person whenever it comes to any questions. Just before I start um, introducing our degree program, also just a few words about our university. Weinberg University of Applied Sciences is a pretty young university established in the year of 2009 as a public university. And since nearly 10 to 13 years, um, we already hired more than 110 professors and more than 400 full-time positions means lecturers, scientific assistants, and all the staff working for the university. So during the last 10 years, we grow up very huge and very fast. Um, yes, we are located on, on two locations. Our head campus is on Kleve, where I'm also sitting, and the degree program in international business and management is also located. And in addition, we have a side campus around 50 kilometers far away in Camp Linford. So close to um, Duisburg and Düsseldorf region. What is very interesting for our university is that half of our students, so more than three and a half thousand students, are international students, means we are studying or our students studying in an absolutely international sphere. And yes, also students get this international experience by just studying at our campus. We are offering 25 bachelor degree programs and 11 programs on a master degree level and 75% um, of our programs are taught in English language. So also IBM degree program is completely in English. So at least you do not need any germ skills in order to survive your study life at our campus. Yes, if you are living in Germany, it makes sense also to learn some basic German in order to survive. The I can call it the social life. Yeah. Just a few impressions about our nice, beautiful campus. So imagine the campus is just 10 to 13 years old, so pretty new. And also the buildings are pretty nice and very modern with very modern equipment. And therefore, um, it's a very good learning atmosphere if you start studying in Kleve. So once again, backing, uh, coming back to our international students, um, as I said, three and a half thousand students approximately coming from Germany, um, especially here from the region in Northern Westphalia, but also all um, from all over Germany. And more than three and a half thousand students are coming from nearly worldwide. So at the beginning of the Hochschule Rheinwald, we focus on the more Asian market. So we try to attract students from India, China, Japan. And during the last years, we expanded our um, search for new students also to the USA, to South Africa. So we are a quite international student committee, which studying under one roof in Claver. So, but now let's come directly to our bachelor degree program of international business and management. As I said, it's completely in English language, so no German skills are necessary, and it has a duration of seven semesters. So in, under a normal, ordinary study progress, you study seven semesters and three and a half years at our university. At the end, you reach 220 credit points and get a um, degree of Bachelor of Arts in International Business and Management. How our um, bachelor degree program is structured. During the first three semesters, we are um, offering the so-called basic modules. So first of all, you get a basic introduction into the whole environment of business administration, law, and finance. So here, if we have a look into some more detailed modules, we are talking about introduction to business administration, basics of business mathematics, HR management, economics, marketing. So at the end, that every student gets the same basic knowledge in order to enhance his or her knowledge in the advanced modules. Means in the fourth and fifth semester, when we are coming to the more advanced modules, 
you can have the opportunity to, yes, more internationalize your study by getting into more, yes, advanced international modules, for example, international marketing, international accounting, or international economics. So here the focus in the fourth and fifth semester is more the international market, and here not just related to one or one specific market, but worldwide market is um, here taught and that you get a complete worldwide experience. Also, what is quite important um, in your fourth and fifth semesters is that you are able to individualize your study progress a bit. So via elective subjects, you have the possibility to either focus more, for example, in the HR sector or more in uh, accounting and finance or the marketing area. Or what we are also offering is if you, for example, already working for a company and in a full-time position or part-time position, then you have also the possibility to choose elective subjects from one of our partner faculties, um, either in technology and bionic or life science sector. Um, if it suits to, uh, to your individual company, then you have the possibility to enhance your knowledge in these specific areas. So here you have you're very creative and can really individualize your individual um, study progress. Then our sixth semester is um, based on an internship semester or a semester abroad at one of our partner universities. So if you decide to do an internship, you can do an in six months internship all over the world. So either you just focus on German markets so that you get more um, work experience on the German market, then you can do so. Or if you decide to go back to your um, home country, then you are also um, free to do so or gain your working experience all over the world. So you are absolutely free to do your internship semester wherever you want. Or the second option is to do a um, semester abroad at one of our partner universities worldwide. So we have partner universities all over the world either in Australia, in China, in the USA, Great Britain. So many, many um, partner universities are available in order to do your individual semester abroad. Once you come back in your seventh semester, then you have the chance to write your final thesis. So approximately within three months, you start writing your final thesis in order to graduate. And here, our supervisor professors or um, the scientific assistants really supervise you. So you are never alone and you have a very good supervision and um, support from our, or from, from me and my um, fellow colleagues. And yeah, no, you are never alone. And after seven semesters, so approximately three and a half years afterwards, um, you graduate with your Bachelor of Arts in International Business and Management. One more gimmick um, of our bachelor degree program is one of our double degree programs. So normally after three and a half years, you graduate with your with a bachelor of arts in international business management. If you want, you can extend your study by two semesters, so up to four and a half years, and then obtaining a second bachelor degree program by just adding one additional year at our partner university in Michigan, and then you get a second bachelor in business administration. So a wonderful option for you within four and a half years, you have the possibility to earn two bachelor, degree, uh, two bachelor degrees. And I think this is a very good opportunity. And also al already a short look into the near future. Currently we are in the signature process for a second um, double degree program with the Catholic, uh, Catholic University in Valencia in Spain. And so if you decide to start studying at our university, for example, next year, then the possibility to do a double degree program in Spain together with Wine World University is offered and you can take the chance. Good, and then after your graduation, there are many, many opportunities where to go or what to do. So many of our students or graduates um, start directly their professional career and one of the international companies which are well known like Lufthansa or Vodafone or Porsche. So in all kinds of areas. So here you see um, in the marketing area or sales and HR department. So many opportunities are there. 
or you can go as a consultant into one of the big four companies, EY, KPMG, or PricewaterhouseCoopers. So uh, many of our graduates decided for a career as a consultant. Or the last three points are more or less for my personal life because I also be a graduate um, of Rheinwald University. And first of all, after my graduation, I started as a regional manager at Aldi Süd, then as an in-house consultant or sales control at both was before I came back to Rheinwald University as scientific assistant. This is one option to directly go into your professional career after your graduation or you decide, okay, uh, with 210, 210 credit points in my pocket, you are able to do a master degree program. And here, um, just some examples where our graduates in, in a bachelor degree program started their master degree program. And maybe I also have one old fellow student who already did his PhD. So even this possibility is, when you start your um, academic career at the at Rheinwald University, doing a master degree program afterwards, becoming a PhD, then uh, some years afterwards. Good. And um, some of my last words um, related um, to or uh, coming from my um, students itself. So during the um, freshers week I offered in September and with an hour degree program, I asked the students, okay, what was the reason why studying at Rheinwald University or why studying at all? And here are some recommendations why they started a um, bachelor degree program in Germany. So you see studying is fun, getting smarter, meet new people. So the whole network King aspect is very important to broaden their knowledge, improving their skills. So you see many, many points why studying at all in a bachelor level in Germany or especially studying at Rheinwald University um, yeah, makes a lot of fun and gives you the opportunity to enhance your knowledge and yes, to network a lot. Good. Then this is more or less everything from my side. Once again, my name is Fabian Dagel, um, a scientific assistant at Rheinwald University. And whenever you have a question, you know, please feel free to use the Q&A part or write me afterwards an email or just call me and then normally you get an answer very quickly. And yes, I'm open for all of your questions. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much, Fabian, for all the details. Um, I'm very worried about the questions, number of questions, because they are rising. Actually, this is really good, but I'll try my best to address all the questions as I promised our attendees. Thank you very much, Fabian. Great. So then uh, I will go to the Q&A uh, session. Uh, yeah, well, that's a lot of questions answered. Thank you, uh, everyone who, who participated. I just remember before I uh, we started with the last presentation, there were lots of questions uh, regarding the, the weight that your programs attach to the GPA, grand, uh, gross point average of the students. So would you please comment on how much weight is it attached and how important it is while uh, for evaluating the applications from the students? So anyone who would like to can start. Uh, Lydia, maybe you would go ahead. Yeah, sure. So the GPA is important. We certainly look at the grades of your bachelor degree, but as it's an MBA program, um, that's not the only thing that uh, is looked at. The professional experience is also very important, but maybe Professor Fisher, would you like to say a word there too? Sorry, I didn't get the last sentences. You, uh, since I have some problems with the internet. Yeah, the question was uh, how important the uh, grade point average is. And I just said, certainly it's important that uh, the students have a great, good um, grades in their bachelor degree, but yeah. very important for the MBA is also the professional experience uh, and other criteria. So maybe you would like to, to add something there. Okay, thanks a lot for repeating the question. Yeah, we have... Um... Um, uh, decision making based on a so called scoring model. We involve different criteria. And finally, based on the different criteria in the different weighting factors, we um, deliver or we, we um, uh, calculate so called points. And these points give uh, a range. And based on this range, um, we give the admissions. 
Um, therefore, giving some examples of the criteria is, is um, the, the length of the, of the job before the students want to break into the IBC program. That's a, that's a grade of the, the bachelor um, and so on. The, the paper, a paper, the so-called motivation paper or motivation letter is also taken into account. And all in all, these are, if I remember correctly, these are six factors which um, are taken into account. Mm -hmm. Great. Thanks for the details. Thank you very much. Uh, Fabian, would you like also to add from your side? Yes. Um, in general, um, we have a numerous clauses on our um, degree program for bachelor for our bachelor degree program, international business and management. But nevertheless, um, due to the international experience of our students, we often accept also some, yes, if the average grade is not very perfect, then you still have the possibility to get a chance to get enrolled in our degree program. So please do not worry too much about your average grade beforehand. Um, first start trying to enroll in our, at our university, apply for our university, and then there's always a chance to get in there. Great. Thanks a lot. Just one note, I would like to ask Diego to share in the chat the link to the GPA converters. So for those who don't know, in Germany, GPAs work a bit differently. So, uh, for example, 1.0 is the highest. Maybe in your country is the worst one. I'm sure in most cases it might be. So the system works a bit different so that you are not scared when you see and GPA's requirements generally. So to make sure that uh, you are on the safe page. Thank you, Diego. Um, another question that is uh, have just come uh, is a bureaucratic question, quite bureaucratic, but quite important, I would say. Uh, do you request translations certified by notary or German embassy? Uh, uh, Fabian? Yes. Um, in general, depends on the language. So when, as long as the certificates are in German or in English language or um, English, what we are able to read, no problem at all. So we, um, you do not need an official translation. If it's, for example, in Chinese, then we um, need a de definitely not a um, official mm -hmm. um, translation. Okay. Uh, Lydia, Professor yeah. Fischer? Yeah, it's actually the same with us. We do accept mm -hmm. uh, German or English documents. And if they're not in one of these two languages, they have to be translated. But as I said, the first stage uh, of the application process, we don't need, you don't need to present all these documents yet, only mm -hmm. uh, when you enter, you're selected for the second stage of the, sele uh, the selection process. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Great. Then I will move to the next question. Um, uh, Professor Fischer already addressed it in the chat, but so that everyone can also see from other programs as well. Uh, is it possible to do the program part-time or rearrange flow of courses or all of, are all of them uh, consecutive? So Fabian, maybe? Yes, also for our um, bachelor degree programs, it's also quite flexible. So. As I told you beforehand, um, we try to stick, first of all, focusing on the um, foundation modules, the basic modules before starting into the higher advanced modules. But in general, there is a possibility to do it in part-time, so you're quite flexible. We also offering a dual program that you um, do it um, together with um, so-called Ausbildung, an apprenticeship, and um, yes, but Many students of our camp on our campus are um, studying in part time, and this is quite flexible in all of our bachelor degree programs. Mm -hmm. Great, Lydia. Would like to you would like to add? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Officially, you're allowed to work uh, certainly twenty hours uh, per week, but uh, our MBA program is a very intensive yeah. full time program. Uh, and as you're doing, you know, you're working in teams, you're doing uh, different workshops together, you're having courses uh, together. So it's, uh, yeah, it's difficult to work part time. Um, Professor Fischer, would you like to? Yeah, yeah, I can only confirm, uh, you, you already mentioned, um, sometimes students um, are looking for a chance in that way that they do in part time an internship. 
uh, which corresponds to some extent with the topics we we are covering in the program but it's really a very intensive program and the concept is a full-time program taking into account that most of the students coming from abroad uh, they leave their job coming here and they want to uh, run these studies in the most efficient way mm -hmm. yeah just from my perspective also i was also an international student who came german several years ago so yeah it is quite ambitious uh, when the program is intensive also to do part-time job it is doable but yeah you can think twice <laughs> yeah, yeah. Depends. of course it's personal of course it's very personal thank you very much it's, um, a, matter of, it's a matter of time time yeah, management. For, for sure for sure <laughs> yes um uh, next question I, I saw this question several times i mean exactly this topic when students asking as a computer science back having computer science background can i apply still for the program i think this is related more uh to um lydia to you and professor fisher because may i i guess this they are talking about bachelor level program so yeah as a computer science background student can he masoma apply uh to your program Yes, of course. Yeah, uh, the MBA program is addressed to those who are coming, yeah, mainly maybe from non-business uh, um, um, administration programs. Mm -hmm. Since the MBA program uh, gives the opportunity to cover topics and to expand the expertise, uh, to build up a, a most attractive profile. And therefore, um, from my point of view, it doesn't make any sense to have a bachelor in business administration and then to study an MBA. Mm -hmm. Most of our students, I'd like to say 80 percent, 80 up to 90 percent, uh, are coming from the field of IT, coming from the field of engineering, and so on. Also, some coming from the field of pharmaceuticals, and so on. But uh, only to a minor part, they have studied um, a bachelor in the field of business administration. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks for sharing insights, Professor. That's really useful. Um, and then I, and I would like now to move the next question because there's some couple of questions I want to have time to really answer them. They're quite interesting. Uh, also, the question is regarding the local admission restriction, which is sometimes confusing for students. So, uh, so local admission restrictions uh, to those attendees means that there's particular capacity that the program can uh, accept the students, for example, 30 places only and over the 30, uh, that it's really difficult to get into there. So do your programs have um, any local admission restrictions or there for now no local admission restrictions yet um fabian yes um our ibm program is limited up to currently 60 students per semester so we always start in winter semester so we offer 60 places um in future we want to reduce it a bit to um, 52 um so to reduce the number of students in our classes but in general you can approximately say between 50 and 60. Mm -hmm. thank you lydia yes yeah, so in our case uh, it's important for us that the students really have this uh, personal interaction with the professors with the lecturers and therefore we do not accept uh, too many students usually the batches are between 15 to 20 students per year mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah. we select, we do the selection accordingly. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank you. Um, then it's three general questions, really quick ones, and one especially for Maria, and I will call it a day. So, uh, Maria, the question is for you because there were lots of questions uh, regarding the visa, how to come, and how whether the students can. Um, uh, get the work seeking uh, visa permission by the way for just in this regard there's the article that i've just put in the chat so you can read more about some issues regarding visa how much you can work etc etc all is written there so um, next question is regarding age is age any a limitation for applying for for example if the student is let's say over 30 is it is it will be the problem will you uh, will he, he or she reject it for this or uh, it's not a problem for you? Let's start maybe with Professor Fisher or Lydia. Yeah, um, of, of course not. No, there's a wide range of different ages, starting with maybe 25 up to 40. Yeah. Uh, it's um, therefore there isn't any any restriction in that, this topic. That's really good. Thank you. Uh, Fabian? Same applies for Wine World University, so age doesn't play a role. That's good. Uh, it's never late to start studying. This is also an interesting question. Um, 
for all everyone. How many times one can redo a seminar, especially the thesis? So for example, if the person fails on the first attempt, is there an opportunity for taking second or maybe the third attempt? Uh, yeah, I think it's quite quite an interesting question. Maybe we can start again with Professor Fischer or Lydia, whoever would like to take over. Uh, yeah, there is a third attempt uh, in context of the written exams. Okay. Um, and this is typical. This is can be seen for for many universities here in Germany. Mm -hmm. The third attempt. I don't like this very much. <laughs> it's yeah. It's it's important to give students uh, very soon, uh, very quick um, um, feedback and. Uh, it costs sometimes it costs a lot of time um, and students spend a lot of money uh, to get prepared for the third attempt which sometimes is not very successful <laughs> <laughs> yeah i understand your concern <laughs> thanks um, and for fabian <laughs> in general for examinations you have three attempts so after three times failing you are out um, there's one exception whenever you have um, just a test date, then you have a lot of test, um, possible, no, a lot of attempts, as yeah. many as you need. Mm -hmm. And um, for the final thesis, you have two attempts. So if you fail one time, you have one time the possibility to rewrite a thesis. Okay, for thesis, it's two. For others, yes. it's three. Okay, clear. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And last question for today, I, uh, and um, well, we answered over 50 questions already. Thank you everyone who was involved in this process. Uh, Lydia, Fabian, you contribute a lot, I saw, and uh, yeah, thank you very much. Otherwise, I would, <laughs> I would not be able just because of time limitation to address them. Yeah. And for others, maybe uh, Lydia, I would ask you uh, any scholarship opportunities for distinguished students. So yeah, the NBA uh, has its own t um, fees, so... Uh, mm -hmm. you will have uh, three different fees to pay in each semester. So it's three semesters. The four, first semester is 4,000, uh, around 4,000 uh, euros. And the second two and the third semester is less. It's a little bit more than 2,000 euros. So these are the tuitions for the program. And they're, uh, as we are state university, um, State universities in Germany usually don't grant, grant their own um, scholarships, but you are very open. Uh, you are open to apply for the scholarships of the uh, that are listed, for example, in the German Academic Exchange Service. Um, there are different institutions who grant um, scholarships depending on your personal background uh, or your country or whatever. Uh, it's always very uh, specific. The, um, that the requirements for these um, scholarships are always very specific. You would have to look it up for each institution. So this is one possibility. Um, if you're coming from Latin America, you're also eligible for a scholarship from Fundacion Beca, uh, with, with uh, which we are working together. So you will get uh, additionally to the uh, aid from Fundacion Becker for travel and so you will also get a discount on the study fee uh, at in our MBA and mm -hmm. there are a very small additional scholarships that you are eligible to once you're studying here these but I have to say these do not cover your living expenses they are just small uh, helps maybe for example from the uh, foundation of our state here of Baden-Württemberg mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, these possibility uh, these possibilities are only open for students who are already studying here. So it's only from the second semester on that mm -hmm. that you can apply for these um, yeah small aids uh, small scholarships. So yeah. yeah. Thank you, Lydia. It was really You're welcome. That detail that was wonderful. Thank you. And Fabian, uh, from your side. Yes. Also, um, at our university, we have a couple of so-called small scholarships and where you can apply to. I just post a link from our homepage where you get a complete overview of scholarships where also um, we have um, a lot of supervisor professors who are responsible for those scholarships and are the main contact people um, who can answer all the, your questions. Um, but nevertheless, all the scholarships, these are not full scholarships. So you still have to um finance yourself it's just um, to support you mm -hmm. yeah yes. i would just like to add the information that if you look at the fees that i just mentioned mm -hmm. uh, you will realize it 
if comparing it with um, MBA programs in which are similar from a quality, same quality, we'll realize uh, mm -hmm. that our program is uh, in a very a very good uh, price uh, and that the fees are quite low in comparison. So I think this helps uh, our students a lot already. Yeah, yeah, great. Thanks for your answers. And also before Fabian uh, posted in the chat the link, I also posted in the chat the link to articles um, uh, to article regarding scholarships where you can find some of the opportunities for the winning a scholarship uh, for international students. For example, very popular DAD, which I also won back in the time and which provides you really nice scholarship uh, to cover also, for example, the tuition, uh, living fees, etc. So mm -hmm. yeah, there's some opportunities there. And I also saw there was one question, uh, misunderstanding from one person maybe, he saw that if you are an international student, in every case, you have to apply via UniAssist. Uh, it depends totally on the program. Some programs are using UniAssist service to process the, uh, the documents, application from the international students. S some uh, do not use it. So it's up to the program. And I'm also putting the link to the article regarding UniAssist so that you can understand what this organization is about. All right, that's really great. I enjoyed the webinar a lot. Thank you very much for your very good presentations and for um, for for answering so many questions. And of course, to attendees for sending in so many questions for such an interest and for staying with us for one half an hour, one hour and a half, which is crazy. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, also, um, yeah, it, it will be really nice also to hear a feedback from you. Uh, so Diego already posted in the chat it's already up to a bit up in the chat, direct links to Facebook and Google where you can leave feedback regarding today's webinar, which we always take into account. And he have just posted once again, thank you. So yeah, that was all from my side. Thanks a lot everyone once again, and I wish you a very nice evening or morning or afternoon. I don't know where you're <laughs> from. Attendees. So, and I hope to see you on our future webinars as well. Take care, bye-bye. Bye, thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.